Good morning. It is Saturday. What day is it today? April 18th. It is currently 10 17 right now. I just got done getting ready for the day. I got up around 8, but then I just kind of like cleaned the room, you know, took a shower, worked out, did all that good stuff. And now finally all dolled up. Also, I probably have not shown you guys yet, but I have set up this whole like coat hanger thing right there for all my purses. And then I have a couple of things planned for today. So I'm really excited to vlog that. But first I'm going to show you my outfit and then I'll give you like the rundown on what I have planned for today. So here is today's outfit. Very cute and chic. So I have on this white t-shirt from Threadsmith. It is stain proof, waterproof. It is amazing. And then I tucked it into my bra to give it that crop look. Threw on these high-waisted pink dress pants from ASOS. Zara black heels. And then for accessories, I have on this Sturettes hat and then my Chanel earrings. I'm also currently watching Dynasty, one of my favorite shows. Definitely check it out. It's very bougie, very dramatic. I also forgot to mention that I also hung up this mirror. I've had this mirror for a while and I didn't know where to put it. And then I just decided to just put it in this entryway kind of. This is what I'm going to use for today's photo shoot. Also, look, the snow is finally clearing out. I am so excited for today's photo shoot. I'm doing it outside. If you haven't seen it, it's this whole like TikTok trend going on with like bringing your mirror outside and taking photos. So I'm thinking either doing like on the porch or maybe like by the big rocks because we have like a bunch of like huge rocks right there that I I think will be really cute to like be in the background or maybe like hold up the mirror. Here is the lineup for breakfast. Actually, it'll be more like a brunch. I am going to make these circle hash browns and then make some eggs. And instead of oil, I'm gonna use this vegan butter, which I just bought the other day. So I'm so excited to try it out. And then maybe I'll add some cantaloupe to the mix because this is one of my favorite fruits and I love having fruits with breakfast food. Here is the final result. Nothing too special. I'm so hungry. I've been waiting like 30 minutes to an hour to get everything all prepped and now it's time to dig in. So I've had some packages sit here for a couple of days and I think I'm ready to sanitize it and open them up because I have a really cute spring dress in here that I want to try out. So I have sanitized all my packages and I put on a new pair of gloves because these are thrifted clothes so people have touched them so I just want to you know be safe and we have Paul here Hiya. he wanted to see what I got from Thread Up so I'm a pirate you're a pirate <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's about to be a lot lighter. But Whoa. I got this really cute floral dress. <gasps> this is pretty. Let me scoop back so you guys can see the full dress. Oh my gosh, how cute is this for spring? This package, I know what it is. It's like a really cute like sweater for spring as well. So I got this really cute light sweater. You know how I've been into neutrals lately and I love the lace on the top. Ollie. <laughs> I got this super cute pink Zara coat. It's like a coat, a jacket. So I could definitely wear this during the springtime because it's not too heavy. And I don't have a pink coat like this. So I thought this would be so perfect for spring, especially for like the windier days. And it does have like a one button right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I am going to go upstairs and go work on a blog post because it's due later today. Do Sada hey. So I just realized that I forgot to give you guys the rundown of what I plan to do today. So I have like a whole list of things that I want to accomplish this weekend and I'm hoping to get a few of them done today. So for today, I'm thinking of doing the outside mirror photo shoot challenge that's been going on TikTok. I know I mentioned that early on this vlog. And then I really want to make some whipped coffee. I finally figured out how to do it the other day and it was so good. So I'm debating between that. I feel like maybe it's too late in the day. It's like around noon right now so maybe tomorrow morning and then I also want to make like a collage wall for some photos I saw that being like another trend on TikTok and then I have a blog post that needs to go up today it's in collaboration with insert name here if you've never heard of them they're like literally one of the most popular hair extension brands out there like Ariana Grande wears their stuff the two like co-founders they were like the managers of ColourPop so it's a really like popular brand and I was so excited that they wanted to work with me so I need to get that up today 
day. Also, like, I saw a TikTok where like this girl took her Guess Who game for each photo. She put like a Korean like celebrity. So I kind of want to do that. I don't know if I'm going to do that today or tomorrow. So yeah, that's like the gist of what I want to do for the weekend. So far, I'm working on the blog post. And then after that, I think when the sun kind of like dies down, I'll go do like the outside mirror photo shoot and stuff. If you've been hearing noises, it's because this little kid is here. I know it has a scratch because I wore it so many times. I literally need a new pair, but Zara didn't restock it. So I'm stuck with this pair. Can you put it away? So I'm currently trying to create these collages for my blog post. So I created this first one where I'm featuring the Sammy bun that INH sent me. So I'm currently playing with a couple of blog titles. I came up with this one, but I think I'm gonna write the blog post and then read over a couple times. And then that's gonna give me a feel of how I should title this blog post because I never want the title to kind of like mislead my readers. And I always wanted to best represent what the blog post is all about. I just published my blog post. This one was a fun one. I'll have a link down below. Definitely check it out. So I kind of gave up on this mirror and I decided to go with my square mirror and I put some accessory on it. So let's see how this goes. So I just finished the outside mirror photo shoot. Let's just say I'm never doing that again. It was so much work and hopefully I got some good pictures out of it. I was literally out there for like 30 minutes to an hour just trying to get like the right angle and it's actually a lot of work and just like having to bring all the materials down there. I'm literally out of breath. I think I'm gonna like watch some YouTube videos while editing those photos. Here's just a look of all the photos I took. It has been a while since I vlogged. I just kind of lost track of time. I like literally edited my TikTok video for like the longest time. So definitely go check it out. I did a mirror challenge. I'll have a link down below. And then I made dinner and then I watched the second episode of The King Eternal Monarch. If you didn't know, I have been really into K-dramas lately and Lee Min Ho came out with a new one on Netflix so my sisters and I were watching together and then after that I just kind of like got ready for bed and then I just kind of forgot to vlog but I did just make an exciting purchase I've been sitting on this purchase for like the longest time because I didn't know if I wanted to like invest in it because it is kind of pricey but you know I've been trying to get into skincare and I just thought it was the best choice so let me show you what I just bought so I decided to invest in the Freya skincare fridge by Vanity planet it was not cheap you guys but i thought i would invest in it because i've been trying to get into skincare lately and i also got a facial ice roller because my jade roller half of it it broke so i thought why not invest in a nicer one and she is thick so she is going to be able to be used around my neck my jawline it's gonna be a fun time good morning i woke up super late today i think i woke up around like 9 30 a.m that's pretty late for me especially since i usually wake up between like 6 and 7 a.m so got a late start to the day just got done getting ready i also hung up my mirror just a little higher so that you can see like more of the upper body and i went for like a parisian look today which i'll show you my outfit so here's my look today i have on this sweater from h&m i tucked it into my sports bra for that cropped look and then i paired it with these high-waisted dress pants from express low black heels from dsw and then for accessories i have on this beret from zara and then pearl earrings from target so I just got done filming my first TikTok for the day and I wanted to show you it. How to elevate your sweater top for a more street style look. Tuck the bottom of your sweater into a sports bra and voila, you got yourself the perfect cozy street style look. It's so like mind bottling for me that it literally takes like 15 to 30 minutes just to film like a 50 second video on TikTok. Like it's a lot of work you guys, but it's a lot of fun. I love being on the app, being inspired by other creators and I love like creating my own content. So definitely check TikTok out. Like it's like my newest favorite app at the moment. Like I can literally be laying in bed and just like be scrolling on TikTok for like hours. So I've decided that I'm gonna do my collage wall right here because this walk 
gets the best lighting from the window so let's go right into it so i'm gonna use this vogue magazine that i got a couple months ago i bought it for a photo shoot and i'm thinking i'm gonna go with like neutrals and pink for like the color scheme so i found these i love the neutral tones of that one and then there's like a pink one that i was like obsessed with i don't think i'll find it but yeah there's a lot of really cool pictures in here that i'm just gonna try to make into a collage on this wall and then i also have more magazines up here in my closet so if i'm running out of aesthetically pleasing photos in this one um, i have a bunch more up there So I did find a few pages in the Vogue magazine that I really like. This is probably my favorite one. I'm just like obsessed with this whole look. But I only found a couple. So definitely need to go look at the other magazines as well. Oh my god, this look is gorgeous as well. Okay, so I got a couple more magazines. They're all in style, so it shouldn't be too hard to find some fashion inspo photos in here. So I finally finished the collage wall and you guys, it looks so good. I am literally so obsessed. And I love how there's like neutral tones and pink tones, which goes so well with my aesthetic in the room. It took me an hour to do all of this and now it's time to take some photos. The photos turned out so cute. I am deceased. Oh my God. I'm like so obsessed with this collage wall. Like it is giving me so much inspiration for like future projects. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. I mean like I used to do this when I was younger, like middle school and everything. Like I would plaster my entire wall with like magazine covers and stuff like that. Now it's kind of like very like nostalgic because it's something I used to do and now I'm doing it again and I'm obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. 